Test flight beta testing makes it simple to invite a wide audience of testers and get valuable feedback from multiple iOS devices before releasing your app on the App Store. After you've uploaded your build in iTunes Connect, you'll see it listed under pre-release. Remember, your build must contain the beta entitlement in order to use test flight. To inspect a build, just click on it. Here, you can enter specific details about what to test and a description of your app. You can also include an email address for collecting tester feedback, along with optional URLs for marketing and your privacy policy. This is what your testers will see when they access your app in test flight. To enable internal testers for your account, go to Users and Roles in iTunes Connect. Here you can enable any existing admin or technical user as an internal tester for your account. Just click on the user, and then turn on Internal Tester, and click Save. Now, go back to pre-release for your app, and switch on testing for the version. Click on Internal Testers, and you'll see all of the testers you've enabled for your account. To invite any of them to test this version, just click the box next to their name. Then, click Invite. You'll see their status change to Invited, and they'll receive an email inviting them to test out your app. Once they accept, you'll see their status update in iTunes Connect. Now, they simply need to install the Test Flight app, and then the pre-release build. Once they do, you'll see their status update again in iTunes Connect, and you can see the latest build that they've installed on their device. When you're ready to invite external testers, your build needs to go through beta app review. Click Submit for Beta App Review and ensure that you've entered all of the required metadata on the Test Information tab, and then your build will go into Waiting for Review. Now you can add external testers from the External Testers tab. Click the plus sign to add a new tester or any tester that you've previously added. Type the email address of your test users and their first and last name if you want. If you have a large number of testers to add, you can import from a CSV file. Then click Add and confirm that you have their consent to add them as a tester. Until your app passes review, the tester status will appear as added. Once your app passes review, you'll be able to invite your testers. Then you can see the current status and build numbers for all of your testers on the External Testers tab. Using TestFlight is very easy for your testers. When they receive your invitation email, they just tap Open in Test Flight. This will guide them through installing the app. Once they do, it'll appear on their device with an orange dot next to it. They'll automatically receive new app updates through Test Flight, and they can view the number of days remaining for testing of that build. Testers can also submit feedback through the Test Flight app by clicking Send Feedback on the product page for the app. Here are a few things to remember. You can have up to 25 internal testers per account, and up to 1,000 external testers per app. Builds can be tested for up to 30 days, and that countdown begins when the initial invites are sent, not when the user begins testing. You can upload a new build to continue testing after 30 days. You can turn off testing at any time, and test flight requires iOS 8 or later. If you want to learn more about the tester experience, Check out the FAQs on iTunes Connect.